gamers all around, you know, I'm not going to say. Today I saw this Reddit thread by Sofianos and uh, I thought it's a cool idea to show some of you guys what AOE4 was and what AOE4 is now. It has been a long journey and I love it. So he kind of points out at a different metas that we had, different uh, cheeses, different things. And I added some of my own and I kind of wanted to describe the history of AOE4, even though it's not super long, but the history of the metas that we have had and the ridiculous bugs that we have had in the game. And I got some videos that I managed to find for some of those. So I didn't find a video for every single example, but I got videos for a lot of them. So the first things first, if you're new to AA4 or you know, if you've been playing AA4 the whole time, you will remember the Springold meta. Now I'm not sure these are in chronological order, but the Springold meta, mm -mm -mm. if you're new to AA4, uh, as you know, Springles are anti-siege unit, but once upon, they were not. Springles used to do, and I don't remember the exact numbers, but they used to do like 60 base damage or something. Or was, no, maybe it was lower. They were killing everything. And uh, let me just give you an example. So obviously searching uh, Springles AoE 4 doesn't really come out, but I did find this game of uh by ozzy drongo himself and this was me versus puppy paw and let me just show you a short clip of what's happening here so i'm playing mongol is playing china this used to be meta it was 60 damage per hit yeah so check this out so you see my army is you know lancers and all that and look at the chinese army <laughs> and sprinkles were destroying buildings I want you to pay attention to the left side. A Lancer just popped out. You see that guy right there? You see that guy? Look at this. Look at that Lancer right now. <laughs> they were killing everything. Now, in this game, one of the ways to kill uh, Springles was to pull like masses of villagers and surround them. And this is where the units also threw torches. They didn't auto attack, they threw torches. And it took so fucking long to kill these. But this was one of the ways you can deal with that. And this was meta in so many matchups. Not just China making Springles. You were making Springles and then like scoot and shooting with a shit ton of sieves. So that is meta number one that I don't think anyone misses because... Uh, yeah, they were killing horsemen. They were killing men at arms. Uh, yeah, it was especially bad with Roos because their Springles used to have 13.5 range. So they would actually just kill other Springles and everything else. And actually the best sieves in the late game in AA4 at that time were not like the sieves that had strongest economy or this or that because people didn't know how to play as well. The best sieves were the sieves with the longest range Springles, which were Rus Mongol with their range and China Springles because of extra uh, HP. Those three sieves were by far the strongest sieves in the late game simply because of the range and because of extra hp number two stealing scouts so when scouts transfer animal carcasses they used to keep the same movement speed some people had this great idea to steal sheep carcasses this used to be meta this wasn't an idea guys this used to be meta so uh most civs were actually going pro scout the only civs that didn't go pro scouts were delhi abbasid in english even China was going pro scouts, okay? Even China was going pro scouts. This is before Malin and Ottoman got released. So basically the meta was you both go pro scouts and you don't stop at seven scouts. Uh, you go for like 10 to 15 scouts. Yeah, those civs were bottom tier because you couldn't go pro scouts. Technically you could, but it just didn't play well into the civs. But they were like kind of bad at that point. Not only you went pro scouts, but once you're done getting the deer, both players would go to each other's deer and steal it under TC. So I found a clip of Hera playing actually. And you know, Hera playing, so this is a long time ago because he stopped playing A4 a long time ago. So you would get your deer under your TC, right? And then the opponent would come with their scouts and you would have to garrison villagers 
to prevent the deer being stolen from you. And this was the meta. This literally was the meta. This is, the, Red is a noob. I don't know who Red is, but this guy's a noob. You used to come with 10, 15 scouts and just take everything under TC. So what started happening is players would then do like a mini wall here. So if the scouts come, they have to go around to take your deer. Then people started like fully walling in deer sometimes and then placing a mill so they couldn't be stolen. Or you would have players build spearmen or leave their scouts behind so that they could kill the enemy scouts try to kill deer. And I know this sounds funny and you might think like, oh, it was like a game or two. No, it was the meta. Uh, until they nerfed uh, the movement speed while carrying carcasses. Because basically before, if you pick up a carcass, the scout moves fast still. Next one, Khan killing sheep. Now, I don't have an example of this, but the meta with Mongol used to be... If you're playing against Mongol, if you see their Khan, you get the fuck away. Because Khan used to be able to shoot in Dark Age while moving. Now this was changed, and the only reason it was changed is what would happen is you would run into the enemy scout as Mongol, and you would just kill all their sheep on the scout. Because Khan used to deal more damage, and basically by the time they get home, you would kill all their sheep that are following their scout. So the reason why Khan doesn't shoot while moving in Dark Age right now is because of that, because it was obnoxious. The Mongol would basically go straight to your base, to Tower Rush. The moment they would see your scout, they would latch onto it and you couldn't get any sheep. I don't have a video of it, but trust me. French and water. So right now, again, if you're a new player to A4, water is pretty much equal um as in everyone has the same ships pretty much and the economy is what matters but back in the day every sieve had unique ships and most of them fucking sucked ass the only two that were okay were english and hre if i remember correctly that had aero ships abbasid delhi and the other sieves had awful ships like, Rus ships were fucking garbage. Completely garbage. Again, every Civ had their unique ships. But French had hulks. And let me tell you, the balance wasn't bad. You could not play at water unless you picked French for hulks. And they were the only sprinkled ship in Feudal Age. Basically, every Civ had sprinkled ships, but in Castle. French had sprinkled ships in Feudal. And there's even a better ending to this story. Springle ships used to shoot from like left side of the boat but while you're waiting for cooldown for it to shoot you could turn the ship around and it resulted in this are you ready it resulted in this you were spinning to win aka spin to win you were just rotating your your hulks and they were like fucking blasting look at this i mean i'll tell them but Okay, that's fine. And this was the water gameplay for a very long time in AV4. You pick French, and when there's a French mirror, you both make hulks, and then you both go like this, up and down, and you hope that your uh, shots kill his hulks. But actually, someone mentioned in the chat, I think Psycho mentioned in the chat, just before they got nerfed, I actually figured out a, a build with Mongols to completely overwhelm the Hulks with like bashing and insane amount of shit arrow ships. And it actually worked. Because if I remember, Mongol had like cheaper arrow ships or something. So you could you needed to make like three or four arrow ships to beat one Hulk. That's how ridiculous they were. Shift Q command. Now this is not so much of a meta as much it is uh, it is bug. Shift Q just did not work. Like you could shift Q and the, the the command just cancels. And it was very frustrating and a lot of people super balded and uh, some people quit the game over it because it lasted quite a bit. Mongol TC drop. Now I have a good clip for this one. Some of you will recognize this man. Some of you may not. This guy's a legend. So uh, right now in AV4, you cannot place defensive buildings nor Mongol town centers near enemy town centers. But very early in the game in AoE 4, when it got released, like first month or two, you could 
unpack your TC, or not even unpack, because it was unpacked when you started the game, and you just drive the TC to the enemy base as Mongol, and you put it next to the enemy TC, and people had no fucking clue how to deal with this, all right? Now, this was apparently very popular, but I kid you not, I never faced this on ladder. Not even once. Oh yeah, and Mongol uh, used to have an upgrade on Ubu that they do have now, where your buildings move faster, but it moved way faster than it does now. So, with that being said, here's our Tosis playing against Figure Mongol. Out what I'm looking for. Playing or against if uh, he's Mongol doing TC Rush. This rush that you guys have been talking about. <laughs> Look how fast it is! There you go. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> Are you proud of this? I'm that horse. <laughs> oh shit, it's not tall. That is incredibly stupid. That is incredibly stu This guy is a fucking loser. Anyone on the ladder doing that is a fucking loser, man. That's yeah. crazy. And yeah. the fact that he said that used to be a thing and apparently people did it. I ain't never faced it. But the way people dealt with it is when the guy would arrive with TC, you just put a scout and you have a scout follow his TC, right? Or people started building walls around their own TC so that you couldn't they couldn't land their TC. Beastie faced it once? Yeah, but that was way later. That was not this. I faced it with a second TC. This was... this Guys, this is first TC. This is like a minute into the game. But yeah, most people didn't know how to deal with it. So they just ended up fucking dying immediately. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Rams and TC. Oh boy. This is the one thing that... This one triggered me so fucking hard. You, you, and this lasted a while, by the way. This was like a month or two. You used to not be able to target fire with your TC. And your TC always, always shot at a fucking ram. Bro. So, b w what could happen, in theory? Abbasid could build a ram in Dark Age. Run it into your TC. And then kill the villagers around your TC. And there's nothing you can... The TC would just keep shooting at the ram. And the ram would take no fucking damage. So the feudal all-ins were insane. Because you build one ram. You actually don't need to put it in range of TC. The way the meta developed is players would actually build a ram. Put it barely in range of TC. And then just dive and kill all your shit. Because the TC would just be killing the ram the whole time. And... Yeah, Rams used to have more fucking health as well, and it was insane, and you couldn't target far, you couldn't do anything about it. Luckily, they eventually fixed it. Now, explosive, explosive ships with C4. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I got a cutie patootie clip with this one. Explosive ships were bugged, where if this was their in intended radius, okay, this is how it's supposed to be, this was their radius, all right? So if there was water, you were building explosive ships. Let me show you. Look at explosive ship. You see that? Or demo ship. Pay attention to the red army. Oh! <laughs> did, you, did you see that? <laughs> let's, let's show that again. Look at the range. Look where this stupid shit is. Oh. Ho, ho. Yeah. Holy moly. Mm-hmm. Damn. And this was... This lasted, I want to say, close to a year. Close to a year. Now, let me show you another clip. This was the biggest 
destruction by a demo ship ever. I don't know what actually the biggest destruction is, but it's this one. This is me versus GUA, and GUA decided to load up like 100 supply into transport ships. You see this guy right here? There's a transport ship right there. There's a transport ship, transport ship, transport ship, transport ship. And you're like, what is in the transport ship? It's villagers and a fuck ton of Streltsy. Check this. 89, <clears throat> one demo ship. So this, his supply is 189 right now. One demo ship, all right? Dude, that got everything. I'm dead. That got everything. Look at this. <laughs> Look at Hundred. That. I killed a hundred supply with one <laughs> demo ship. Beastie was so young back then, bro. That was like a year ago. Come on. Come on. Look at that radius, man. I'm dead. That got everything. Look at this. Yeah. Look at the dock as well. It's insane. Demo ships were fucking insane. There are some other things I remembered, so I'm gonna talk about those. Delhi Elephant Healing. Now, this wasn't that far uh, back, but scholars used to heal in combat for f like not reduced amount. And if you had an elephant and, and like 10 scholars, it was unkillable, okay? You could not kill that shit. You couldn't target fire the scholars. They were healing so fucking fast and that got nerfed. I don't have an example of this, but that got nerfed. The next one is Abbasid Phalanx Upgrade. Now, some of you, most of you probably, if you're newer, you will not remember this, but Abbasid Spears had bug, okay? Where if you built 50 barracks, okay? So the Phalanx upgrade gives you 100% more range. If you build 50 barracks and you upgraded Phalanx upgrade with all 50 barracks selected, do you know what would happen? You would get 100 times 100% Phalanx upgrade. Which, if you... People did, by the way, uh, shoot with, with Spearmen from Abbasid from one side of the map to another. But this is what it looked like with like 10, 15 barracks. You guys ready? This is only with 10, 15 barracks. These are the opposite spears. Mm -hmm. I had a game where some shitter, some shit stain, picked Abbasid on Boulder Bay and was attacking me from half the map with this bug. Look at this. This is what it looks like with like 10 barracks. Look, look at, look at the spear. Do you guys see these? Do you guys see those over here? They're, they're shooting. Do you guys see those right there? Mm -hmm. Those are spears. Those are spears. And, uh, yeah, I had one shitter that made like 50 barracks on Boulder Bay, I remember. He upgraded a Phalanx upgrade. And he fucking shot me from more than half the map with spears. And I, and I remember I just like, really? When was this first week of the game? It was probably first... I, I don't know how long it was. Um, shout out to Farmman Official. I see him in the chat. This was posted on November 30th, 2021. So yeah, it was, it was a while ago. It was a while ago. And uh, yeah, there were some assholes that did this on the ladder. Next one. Siege was very strong, and when I say very strong, I don't mean like Springle strong, but Siege used to be repaired, like, basically, if you had like 15 horsemen attacking one Springle, if two villagers repaired it, you couldn't kill it. You couldn't kill it. That's how Siege repair was broken. They nerfed it a lot. Now, I don't have a video of this. For the rest of them, I don't have videos, but I, I wanted to mention these as well. We had invisible walls, which was a bug 
I don't. I actually don't know how it was done, but you could basically place invisible walls that you couldn't attack at all. You couldn't target them, but you couldn't move your units through them. So that was that was something that people abused on ladder for a bit. Animation canceling. Most of you have have probably uh, heard about this one. Animation canceling was basically a thing you could do with your men at arms and knights. And uh, what it did is, you know how knights have an animation where they go like, boom. Home. So what you could do is the moment the knight starts to do the thing, you could move the knight and attack again. And basically the knights would be doing like this. You could cancel the animation, which is why it's called animation canceling. So the knight wouldn't need to do that. It could just have like a 0 0.2 attack speed. And the whole meta for like a few months was... You massing knights in no matter what comp, what matchup. You were just massing knights, and it was knights against knights, and the player that won is the player that was animation canceling better. That was literally the whole meta. Now, there was another bug with Spearman that uh, left HRE and Delhi, if I remember correctly, in shambles. I think it was, I think it was HREs in Delhi. Maybe it was Abbasids too. I don't remember. But there was time where the spears could not brace. So you know how spears, when the knight charges in, they do the little and they poke them and they get like rooted for a bit. Yeah, those sieves uh, used to not have that. And basically, whenever you played against HRE or Delhi, you were just massing knights and you just charge into a spearman. It deals the charge damage and then you like tap it twice and it's dead. And people abuse the shit out of this. When, whenever you played HRE or Delhi, people would just mass knights because you couldn't counter it. You you literally had no counter. Because the spears did not fucking work. And uh, yeah, people loved getting their free points. The next one is... This wasn't so much of a bug as like something that I just wanted to mention. But let's talk about HRE a little bit more. So you guys know that a relic gives 80 gold a minute. <coughs> A relic in, with cathedral gives 160 gold a minute. And you're like, that's insane. Well, back in the day, relic for HRE gave 300 gold a minute. So if you had three relics in cathedral, you would get 900 gold per minute with three relics. And uh, it was pretty good. Now, since we're talking about relics, let me show you another clip. This is the last clip we got. You used to be able to duplicate relics. Now, I never did this, but some people on the ladder did it. And the way you did it was very simple. You have one relic, you see right there, one relic. And apparently all you needed to do is you take as many, uh, what are they called, monks, I don't know if this just worked with Rus monks. You take as many monks as you want and all you do is you right click. And they all get their own relic. And you're like, is this a visual bug? Oh no, it's not. He's got 10 relics right now. And, uh... You can put them in the in the monastery now. And this is the funniest part. He's going to build a new monastery. Look at this. And he put 10 relics inside of that bitch. Look at that. So I want to show you the end of this video. So this guy duplicated so many fucking relics. He had 16,000 gold income. Good stuff. All right, hold on. Corvinus is molding in the chat. I mean, I honestly don't like that they that they uh, that they changed this. I thought the relic pushing. So you used to be able to push relics, and I actually really dislike this change. So now you can't do it anymore. But you used to be able to push your relics. Look at this. 
So you would wall it off, and then you just run units from behind, and you kind of drag them in. <laughs> oh my god, how did you not move at all? But yeah, you used to be able to do this, and I thought it was a pretty cool thing. Like, it's not like a thing you're gonna do every game, and it's, it was like unstoppable. Like, bro, just move, you know what I mean? But eventually it got nerfed, and I thought it created for some cool plays. But you can't do it anymore. And last but not least, now there are more bugs, okay? I'm not gonna mention every single one, because let's be honest, there was a lot of bugs, all right? There was a, there's been a lot of bugs. So I'm not gonna mention all of them, but I try to mention like the, the most notable ones and the ones that I had an example. All the deli bugs, I mean, don't even get started on the deli bugs. But I try to mention the more like funny ones uh, or game breaking stuff or the stuff that was meta. But there's one more that I'm gonna mention. Maybe you are, maybe you are fresh out of the oven. Maybe you don't know. Let me tell you about the latest one that's gonna definitely uh, enter the, the Hall of Fame. And that is the Malian fucking Scouts. Let's talk about those. Let me tell you, a month ago, when they got nerfed, <laughs> shit scouts, used to have Nitro up their ass in Feudal Age, all right? Maybe you just started playing. They used to get, have Nitro up their ass. They, ha they were so fast that when you picked up a, a, a deer carcass with them, you would outrun fucking spearmen and a horseman could not kill you, okay? Because they regen so fast that if a horseman was stabbing you in the ass while you were carrying the carcass, it would not matter. They were unkillable. I officially here announced the Malian scouts that got nerfed recently. One of the most broken things in AoE4 that has ever had. That's it for this video. I don't know if you're watching on Twitch or YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these. Uh, again, if you're a newer player, you joined AoE4 recently. I hope you caught up with some of the bugs and uh, some of the metas that used to happen that are not a thing anymore. Thank fuck. Uh, shout out to, to Sofianos on Reddit for making this Reddit thread and inspiring me to make this little, little video. I appreciate it. YouTube gamers, check me out on Twitch. I'm probably live right now, uh, figuring out bugs and crashing as I'm playing. I'm joking, they, they fix crashes, we'll see. Uh, make sure to subscribe to YouTube. Only 39% of subscribed. Come on, we gotta get the number up. We gotta get the number up. Get, that, get to that 100K. If you're watching on Twitch, let's keep going.